This is your main hub for autonomous security operations. Here, you have visibility for the automatic triage, response, and hunting process that is going on behind the scenes. One of the main benefits of the solution is removing the grunt work of tier one alert triage out of your life and help you focus only on incidents that matter. So after automatically ingesting and triaging your alerts from multiple sources, for example, EDR and SOAR, right away, you're left with 40% less alerts after we identified them as false positives. Another 40% was corroborated as true positive and deeply contextualized, including clear instructions for rem remediation. Soon we'll dig deeper and explain how all this magic happens, but this is a bird's eye view of where and how it saves you time. All the true positive alerts are automatically clustered by threat families and threat actors, so you can easily respond to the same Emotet campaign even if it generated a ton of different alerts from different systems. About 80% of your alerts are automatically triaged, while for the rest, we give you a rich tool set to investigate them. Another core piece that we're automating is hunting, meaning in addition to handling stuff that has already been detected by your existing security tools out of the box, we also help you to create rules and IOCs to hunt for bad stuff in your environment. For example, I can learn that Emotet is one of the main threats attacking me, right? So then I can easily learn more about this threat, view detection opportunities of Emotet that I can hunt for in my environment, and also I can add it to my watch list so I would get notified in case there's any new detection opportunity in the wild. It's super easy to add more alert sources to your hub, and usually it takes just only two hours to get started. While this dashboard is super helpful to have high-level visibility on the autonomous detection and response process, a lot of our insights are provided directly to where your analysts live, whether it's EDR or SOAR. So I am a Sentinel-1 user, and now I start my day. I can see that I have four alerts to look at. As soon as I look into an alert, I immediately get into Zer's assessment before needing to do any kind of investigation myself. It functions as my trusted advisor to help me filter out things that are just wasting my time and get clear recommendations of what exactly should I do. For example, in this alert, Sentinel-1 flagged this file as malicious without giving me much context, only that their AI engine has found something malicious there. But here, I can see that Intezer says that it's likely a false positive, a legitimate jump cloud software that has been seen many times before in my network. It also recommends me to exclude this file so it won't bother me again. But I want to make sure that I understand why I got this recommendation and get more context. So here's where the magic happens. In order to provide a trustworthy assessment, we do the same thing that an experienced analyst would do, which includes the usual stuff like sandboxing, checking the hash in virus total, but also much more sophisticated stuff like reverse engineering the suspected file, unpacking it, conduct memory analysis for any ejected code, look at the code itself, what it does, where it has already been seen before in the past, find similarities of techniques, TTPs, strings, IOCs, and code against any threat ever seen before in history and also any legitimate software out there. All this analysis, which really mimics how an experienced analyst would approach it, is condensed to a simple, clear assessment and recommendation. Let's take another example. This is a great detection by Sentinel-1. However, yet again, it's hard to understand what is this threat exactly? How should I prioritize it? And how should I remediate it? Again, right away, I get my automatic assessment, and this time it confirms it as a true positive NJ rat threat. So I got the exact threat classification right away. Within the same screen, I can also see that it has four IOCs that I can use for response and hunting purposes. My first task would be to learn more about NJ rat because I'm not familiar with it. Next, my first priority would be to grab some IOCs and detection opportunities to make sure 
that this threat does not bother me again. It can be simple stuff like domains or hashes, but also much more sophisticated hunting rules like specific process tree that has only been seen before in NJRAD. To summarize, integer functions as your virtual tier one team with reverse engineering superpowers so you can focus only on incidents that matter, get more context, and stay up to date with all the latest threats.